just remember from what Ace was telling me, the, the beta is old. It's an old build. It's fine. It's an old build. There's a lot of things in it, though, that are a little bit, eer, a bit weird. A bit weird. But here we go. This video is brought to you by NVIDIA and the new MSI GS76 LT 30 series Look, laptop. I have, I have a 3090. I have, I have a 3090, bro. I have a 30, MSI 3090 in this machine. They're good. They're good. They're good company. All right, so I'm not here to piss in anyone's cornflakes. <laughs> I'm certainly not well, here to I am, spoil so. anyone's fun or excitement for yep. Battlefield 2042. I like Battlefield. I went into this beta excited about Me what too. I've seen, the trailers, the gameplay snippets, the overall tone and positioning of 2042. It really seems to lean into those absolutely insane Battlefield moments. That are only they're literally his okay. So saying about Battlefield moments, I when when this came out, I was like, cool. Show me something. That is freaking awesome. Show me something that's going to be amazing. Show me Battlefield 2142. Show me, show me something that's a little bit further forward in, in, in warfare. That would be really interesting to do. And we kind of got something that's really close to Battlefield 4. Only possible Weird. in a sandbox this large, this populated, and this responsive. 2042 is DICE saying, let Battlefield be Battlefield. <laughs> That's a West Wing reference. Probably a little cringe, but I don't care. It is. I spent about 15 <laughs> to 20-ish hours with the beta That's fine. now. I got invited to a pre-event for content creators. As you and do. then I played a bunch of it on PC, and then I switched over to Xbox Series X. Oh, good boy. Finished up good boy. He's Xbox he, One X. He played all he played he played he played all the all the platforms. There's no point in, in passing judgment on something if you haven't played on, on all platforms, at least from this sort of analytical type of view of stuff. As I said, I went into this pretty pumped and hyped, but mm -hmm. I walk out very worried. Uh, you will have no doubt heard about some of the technical readiness of this beta. Ooh, is that to put tricky? it charitably, it runs poorly on PC. Oh, there it's, it's lagging not off him. well at all on next-gen consoles. No. It's full of bugs. Netcode is horrible. The like audio design is a mix of buggy and bad. As for last year... We saw this a lot when we were playing this game, and it was just very, very, very... There's so many things that had to get changed, that, that they had that have to sort out. Uh, I hope he hopefully explains it all. I will... We'll, we'll, we'll press on, we'll press on. I'll stop pausing the shit. If the final release is anything close to what I experienced in the beta, then I sure as hell will not be recommending that anyone pick this up on last gen. I I'm hope, of I hope they fix this. This beta is a few months old, yada okay, yada. The same go. thing every single developer says during any buggy beta, only for the game to launch three weeks later. How come he's later, so crisp and locky on when he plays it? I'm when I'm, when I'm playing and I get friggin' I'm sure everyone's a bullet sponge. Build. I'm sure they have fixed some of the issues. I'm just saying that I've never seen any game that was in such rough shape during its beta phase suddenly cross that vast distance to being a sparkling, pristine launch product on day one. And you've never seen it either because Ooh. it's never happened. Oh, okay. The issues here are too profound and too numerous to give me confidence that this product will be ready to ship in a month. Uh, there's a first time for I don't know, man. and maybe DICE can pull a rabbit out of their hat. But I certainly wouldn't be betting my pre-order money. They need to do a lot of work to make this playable. It it's playable, but actually more concerning than the technical stuff are some of the yeah. design choices that Dice have made here. Mm -hmm. The removal of combat factions, the removal yes. of dedicated classes in yes. favor of specialists, the balancing of those individual specialists, the removal of any squad-based communication oh, and dude. cooperation dude. systems. The decision to include the whole reason why I play Battlefield is so that you can play with your squad and then you, you get rewarded to play with your squad. It doesn't exist in this fucking game, man. What is AI that? Bots and the way they function. These are all very big problems, and this is just. Wanted to play with Oogie, man. Started as a series, bro. Agrees is bad. Every time, it's, every time it's a Battlefield beta, we'll go and play this game and fucking just do some dumb shit. Remember that? Then there's the more subjective stuff, like map design, revised play. I don't like this of, of, of changing your loadout on the run. I don't like it. All off, there are so many missing features here that Battlefield fans have enjoyed in the past, and their absence is so head scratching. Small things like grenade indicators and leaning out of cover. Okay. One thing on this screen is you guys can see here. I'll bring my mouse cursor over. This is an AI. You come across AIs a fuck ton. A fuck ton. There's AIs all, AI players all the way through this, bro. And you go, what the fuck, man? I, I don't understand this. AI, 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 all the way down. And there's a lot of AI players that are in the game. So you're like, oh yeah, cool. I'll get this kill. You pop on them and you're like, oh, it's just AI. And then suddenly, funk, you get slammed in the head, and you're like, what? And it's a player. And you're like, really? It's so frustrating, like man. Full scale structured destructibility. Another AI. You're forgiven for thinking that this is the debut of a new IP for DICE. Yes. You don't look at any part of it and think, oh, well, that is. Also, someone's got to have a chat to them about their notifications, man. Someone needs to have a chat. Remember? My old, my old alerts used to be that little thing that would pop down from the top. Hmm? What's happening here? Yay. Hmm? 
Explain yourself. Explain yourself. <laughs> I, to be fair, I stole it from the start, but that's fine. I had a, I, I kept with it for ages. Friggin' pop down from the top. The oh, shit. The previous games. Very little of it feels like... Wait, it's the feeling players aren't on the server? Yeah, absolutely, but... And many parts of it feel like a straight does every game have to be 120 players? players? Fans can currently enjoy by simply booting up oh, Battlefield okay. 3 I hope I'm not in this. Despite Fuck. Despite all of that, I did have fun with these 15 to 20-ish hours. This is a larger departure from the traditional Battlefield formula than I was expecting, and I know that's... Oh, I'm still buying the game. I still got it. The wrong way, but I, think I still got it. 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 Dice are putting their sandbox front and center, giving players oh, more shit. tools and freedom than ever before to be able to make thrilling only in battlefield moments happen. Battlefield 2042 is okay. not trying to be immersive. There's no vaulting out of the vehicle. At least vaulting out of the vehicle instead of just technical issues, the popping out. Like, and the myriad vault out. Lead me to think that Battlefield 2042 at least there's an animation there. That's AI. It's probably another AI, bro. If he's not getting shot at, to get this thing I don't know. Shape. Oh, it's I another person. About this, it's a person. But I really can't see how this will be worth your sixty dollars come no. launch day. The uh, AI, bro. Come on, Let's man. Talk about technical stuff first. I tested Battlefield 2042 on four <sighs> systems and RTX 3080. Yeah, but 2042 RTX needs to happen. 2042 edition of actually needs to happen, Dako. 100, bro. 3080. Battlefield 2042 was okay-ish. Yep. I ran it at 1440p high settings, and it was generally getting around 90 FPS. If mm -hmm. I pushed it to ultra settings, it was getting around 70 FPS. Thing is, when I dropped all my settings to low, I still sat at around 90 FPS. Jesus. I push out more frames Mine wouldn't tried, so that go above 75, max out. Issues there. The average 30, frame rate isn't as concerning really? as frame stability. Very regularly, the game would chug down to around about 50 This game looks like crisis. It like looks like crisis, man. On split second reaction. On a high-end rig, I could never rely Everything's on too green and blue. to feel crisp and responsive. Eshe! Eshe! So Eshe, Goku. Oh, my God. Sluggish. Same thing goes for the 2080 Ti. I also ran that at 1440p. I had to set that to medium settings, which got me an average of around Shit. 70 frames, with regular frame drops down to 40 frames a second. And again, dropping settings to low didn't give me additional no, average nothing. frames or frame stability. Two important things to note here. Number one, DLSS Bro. was not yet enabled in Bro. this build. That typically does provide... See, look, this guy's like kind of like a bullet sponge. Upgrade. He's just so pumping him full of fucking... Okay, there you go. Got him in the head. That, though, is the fact that On 5700 XQ high res, the settings getting 60 to 70. I think that we're at a point now where it's not unreasonable... Couldn't run max out in 2080, push your i7's holding games, me back. It can't be, bro. PC performance doesn't leave any headroom for that. So if DLSS this game is enabled, janky in spots. Erased by the cost of ray tracing. So right now, I just I really can't see how we're gonna make ray tracing happen on any rig currently with this yeah. optimization. After PC, I headed to Xbox Series X. This thing is targeting 4K 60 FPS, with that 4K being dynamic. Uh, but you can see here as he approaches the stuff, hold up. the textures sort of just where the blurry, and it's not high res textures all the way no to the, to the like distance. Nice. When Frame if when he gets closer, pretty, like look at this grass, as he gets closer, it starts getting more clearer. On PC. Without um, the textures X start like they they fade in instead of popping in. Than the PC build at the moment. What you do get on the Xbox though is flickering. It's not just I the really PC; it's the game. Just like COD. There you go. Thank you, Gaddy. For a long time, and even hey, back brother, in the old days, like I don't remember it being quite this egregious. No. This was so much that I just had a really bad time playing this because it would occur so often. Bro, it was you imagine kids have epilepsy and, and shit to be playing this, bro? Really Holy bad. shit, man! Yeah, with the Xbox One yeah, but the buddy party on the buddy on the living room floor, dude. This was awful. This is targeting 30 FPS, and that frame rate held pretty solid, but the frame pacing just felt bad. The Bro. whole thing feels sluggish, and it looks like so many frames are missing in character and vehicle animation. Yeah, it's weird. The biggest price that last-gen hardware pays is in texture load times and pop-up. As you can see here, going anywhere results in a significant amount of texture popping mm -hmm. in the distance, and this is super distracting. Since Didn't have any flickering, though. Stuff mm, strange. Asking, is that someone moving? But it's not. It's just a fucking tree appearing. Pop-in also occurs on ground foliage, even when you're really close to it. Yeah, see, like this. Everywhere you go, you'll notice that textures look really blurry from afar, and as you get close Even to when them, I turn this game down to, like, minimum settings, like I was this. still only getting 75 frame. I couldn't get above 90. Is that a CPU thing? Can't be. Many textures will take can't upwards be. of five seconds to fully load. Like that. I got big dick fucking then CPU, the man. Low res textures, particularly as it relates to they not 50 x man. So I should be good for at least another fucking like 15 years, right? Here. It wasn't fully optimized for last gen. Crazy. You can see here a destroyed car. 
It looks like shit. <laughs> not because of the explosion, by the way. Only sweet thing was the sweet twitching when you're in tower on top of the tank. Yep, I had that. Shaky tanks. Man, it's nuts. PC is doing it too, so others it's not you. Oh, thank Christ, Gaddy. Oh, man, that... Ugh. So, yeah, little dots on the floor see, drawing themselves in. Is not good. Look, I get that this is next-gen hardware, but I'm really not sympathetic to that point. Like, that Australian graphics cards are bootleg. Oh, that's why. For the ultimate that's why. Australian gra graphics cards are bootleg. That's right. We get them, we get them bootleg from China. Thank you, Ugi. Thank you, bro. <laughs> yeah, as a, as a bootleg from China. As a, as a, right? as a um, graphics a cards. Looks like this. He ran 100 hertz, too. And EA to deliver a function. The thing is this. The thing is this. In Battlefield 4... On the actual servers, if you ever, if you ever dug deep enough and you ever did anything about the server hosting, you could rent out 30 hertz servers. You could rent out 60 hertz servers. You could rent out 75 hertz servers. You could rent out 120 hertz servers. So I'm assuming that your frame rate is tied into whatever the uh, the tick rate is of the server. It makes sense. So that means that when the 128 um, player test was being done, it was only being done on 75 tick servers, possibly, unless they got people with creator accounts to go on, you know, unlimited sort of servers or whatever it was, and they pushed the rest of us fucking down or whatever. But I didn't see my shit go over 75, 80 frames at the most. Um, and that's within that variance of it being a 75 hertz server. So, I don't know. Last gen Battlefield 2042, and right now I wouldn't touch this version with a 10 foot pole. And I didn't even test it on the base Xbox One model. So that's I what it looks no like on my PC, bro. What are you talking about? As an aside, EA exactly what it looks like on 3090, man. Don't worry about that shit. To purchase the more expensive next gen version of the game, which bro. will be backwards compatible. The, the predatory shit's crazy on this, man. Path for when you do want to buy it later on, but no, they cleverly offered you the opportunity to spend more now. Yep. Just in case you need it. Thanks, Andy. Great work there. Have another bonus, mate. Good job, no Andy. What platform you'll play on? You are going to encounter a lot of bugs. Oh, this. This is what you saw, El. Glitches, audio glitches, I saw this so glitches. much. An audio shit is really the worst part of it, and this was the part that was most disruptive and immersion shattering for me. Here you can see this guy landing through the terrain and then glitching up. Enemy down. Yep. Parachutes are in fact really buggy. Yes. Here you can see dudes landing on the roof, but because the parachutes are bugged, me and everyone else knows they're up there and yeah. we can just start shooting at yeah. them and lobbing grenades. Yep, yeah. we saw this. We saw this. So fucking much, man. Here I yeah, am as a recon, and I'm trying to use my drone, but it's actually bugging out here, and it won't let me use it. But eventually, I can, and when I do, I see that my parachute is still somehow. Oh, out dude, above. it gave you away. Okay. Why, why would you stand outside, man? Come on, bro. Come on, skill up. You're gonna see a lot of frozen dudes standing around. Yep. I counted probably a dozen in my playtime. Parachutes were ass. Absolutely. In place, doing random things. It's super annoying because sometimes you would shoot at them and that would give away your position. But why you would, would you have a beta that comes out that has these really simple things the best clip to show that you need to be changed? You can see the enemy exits the vehicle like 10 meters away yeah. from the vehicle, clipping into the terrain and then he just sort of magically teleports back. This clip here is similar. Here an AI enemy is just teleporting. Yeah, but that's basically based on like where the character model pops out. And that's why I think a vaulting animation would solve all that shit. This stuff right? is gonna happen a lot because it's they gave us, it's really odd they gave us three month old build. I think it may have been oh, yeah, and there's also Well, I mean here's the thing too. Going on as well. As if they didn't play it themselves, they didn't they had to release it regardless because of shareholder reasons, bang, you hundred percent said. This one too. I mean look at this we've said. got uh, we've got some great Oh bro, party on the floor, dude. Do this. And I get killed by an identical looking specialist. <laughs> this this clip really has it all. <laughs> Explosion and wreckage and TV lag, hundred percent. Here you can see what is essentially a stop motion showcase as this beautiful beautiful artwork happens here with this spray explosion and then i get in nice and close to take a look at the textures on this one since this was captured on xbox one x dude this is running so slow is this just how it runs or is he okay okay so you know those clips on the internet of all those ufos doing those impossible aeronautical maneuvers oh the helicopter is teleporting those ufos as well oh yeah I 
captured a lot more of this Bro. event, but I can't find that footage now. Just trust me when I tell you that this is actually the default event that occurs with any flying vehicle when it gets too far away from you. You no longer track what? its regular position. Instead, you're fed these periodic updates. So the plane or the helicopter is just teleporting. Yeah, the there is Anytime something wrong with this fucking net code. Event, there are problems. The elevator is a good example. Here's how it looks. Okay. Vehicles suffer the same issues, though it manifests differently. Oh, dude. Jittering. Um, dude, we never had these problems in Phantom Forces on Roblox. And none of these... We had none of these problems with Phantom Forces. Can we just go back and play some Phantom Forces, guys? Like, legit. Roblox had it right from the start. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Often you get into a vehicle and the animation jitter is so severe... Seriously, the first, if, someone, if someone's going to bring out a mod pack, they should bring, it, bring out fucking Phantom Forces 2042, bro. And you watch... <laughs> Fuck, dude, I'll play the fuck out of that shit, dude. That game's great, actually. That it makes it impossible to shoot Handles really well. You're in control of. Going prone is so bad that I kind of held my breath and hoped for the best every time I did it. There's so Often much clutter. I would get this animation desync, resulting in both jittering and my hand being where it definitely was not supposed to be. Yep. Sometimes I would load into a map oh, and beautiful. there wouldn't be anything there, like this. Oh, nice. Look at that. Look at that. You can see, you can see the whole scum box. Code, it's, it's not good. There's so much rubber banding going on. I didn't tag a lot of that because it's kind of hard to spot as you're scrubbing through footage. But the one thing also that I have a problem with in this game is that anyone can fucking revive. I love playing medic class. You sit in the back. You, sit, you, you, you know, you have your team. You have your guy that runs out in the front. Yep, cool. Know what it is. And you're the dude sitting one or two back from the back. Just literally getting kills. Getting kills, getting kills, getting kills, getting kills. Or reviving people. Doing whatever you need to be part of the team. Anyone can just walk over and just press E to revive. And the problem with it is it's always easy to, it's always pressing E to revive. Sometimes if you press E, you'll pick up their fucking, uh, you pick up their fucking loadout. And then you, do you hold it? And you hold it, and then you swap back to your, your, your kit. And then you press it, or you hold it, and it, it does neither one or the other. So you end up just fucking running off. And then your teammate's like, revive me! And it doesn't work, man. It just doesn't fucking work, man. This example here is what I'm it's talking crazy. about. It's crazy. Fix that shit, life. man. This also impacts hit registration, which is definitely... A no one else can drop heals, though. Uh, yeah, they can. It's a part... It's a med... It's a medi... A medi... A medi pack? Medi pack? That you can drop. I'm sure you can drop a health pack. A health box. That has an area, an AOE effect. I'm sure. Or am I wrong? I'm sure it is. Um, the medic class is made redundant. The medic class, the, the way that they've done the classes in this is so dumb. Just do it. If you're playing as this operator, you have access to these things, these guns, whatever it is. Make it whatever guns you want, right? But make sure that, you know, you, you've definitely only got access to the recon type stuff. Because my favorite loadout was running as the scout guy. You can switch stuff out. Yeah, you can switch them out, bro. And this, that's the crazy part. My, fa my, my, my favorite ladder was running as a scout guy because I had the grapple gun. I could zip around and do shit. And then I would get a, um, I would get a freaking uh, ammo box. So then it negates being a support. If, if you're negating being a support, dude, what the fuck is that? You know what I mean? I fixed it. It was definitely not broken, Oogie, right? It was, it's, it's so dumb. They've literally just made it, oh, guys, you can just be anything. And you're like, really? Like, you've got... You've got the, the, the guy who has the turret that goes up. You've got the guy with the grappling hook. You've got the medipack with the fucking revolver with the, the health shots in it. Um, <coughs> what was the other ones? Um, I said the recon guy right with the drone. But your big kit stuff is basically just any what made classes before. And because it made classes before, you go, oh, dude, what the fuck, man? And like, it, it breaks the meta of like, Okay, I'm going to play in a squad. Oh, we've only got, uh, we haven't got someone who's a medic? Awesome. We've got someone who's support? Awesome. And you'd fill them. You'd fill in the spots. Hey, Batch, how you doing, bro? What's going on, man? I'll see you again, man. If I die, it's because there's 20 tanks in my respawn and NG, you blow up. That's how Battlefield works. That's how it's always worked. That's the core gameplay that isn't in this. And if they want to say that, hey, it's just a beta, then fuck, man. They literally better do a backflip. And flip it back. I'll I'll be I'll be willing to take something, something as bad as. I'm will I'll be willing to take because this game feels like bad company styles, a little bit of higher TTK, but you know you sort of work with it. You know that sort of stuff. It's okay. It's 2021. Got to be all inclusive. No discrimination. Everyone can revive. Oh, bro, 
That's the crazy part, man. Why does everyone have to revive? It takes longer to revive, run over to someone, press E, and then they go and charge up the thing and then zap them. Then it did when you're a medic. Medic, you just press four, click on them, done. And then you just fucking just keep going. And if there's like four dudes on the ground, sure. Zap, wait, zap, wait, zap, wait. It takes a little bit of time in between them, but it keeps the gameplay going. It doesn't mean that you suddenly, oh, we run, push forward, you die, and then nothing. It's silly. It's so silly, man. Who, who's problem. making these Again, design decisions, bro? Case, but here's Tag me in. I mean, I hit this dude. Bro. I hit him, but apparently I didn't. Happens wow. way more often than it should. And also, wow. melee animations and hit detection are kind of whack. See, right there, he was punching where he was supposed to be, not where he was going. You know what I mean? Then there's the audio issues. Man, really hard to know where to oh, start dude. here. So from a basic soundscape perspective, there's something wrong here. Like, you're on a battlefield with yeah. 127 other people. Yeah. And most of the time, the game... 180, 70, about 60-odd other people. And then, you know, 68 bots. 67 bots. You know what I mean? sounds like this. Oh, thank Christ it wasn't just me. I was sitting there going, what? What? I'm sitting here cranking the fucking audio up going, eh, the that audio? does not sound like you were on a battlefield. Mm -hmm. Everything sounds so muted and mm -hmm. so distant. Mm -hmm. Like this zone right here is actually in the middle of all of the action mm -hmm. and it's almost silent. You'd think that they did this to create more space in the immediate soundscape so you can hear enemy footsteps. That's just bad fucking audio engine, man. Really, but you really can't. In fact, it's really hard to use the game audio to react to stuff. Yes. Despite the fact that there's apparently a binaural option in the menu which promises a more immersive soundscape. Yep. I'm not alone in this perspective, by the way. This is pretty universal feedback. And I, uh, I, I just pump, started pumping sound. music, bro. Like, I started playing it with music. Oh, fucking tremendous. We're talking about it's 20, it's 2042, bro. In 2042, everything is silent. We've managed to silence everything, man. Helicopters land without sound. Um, we've managed to genetically edit out sound. That's what it is, man. That's, that's, that's what it is. Those alerts are kind of annoying. Showing if your enemy is near. Yeah, like I know. A hundred percent, L. Okay, so let's go back. This it's really egregious having, a, having a pop down like that all the fucking time. Smacking down hard on a landing pad. Ugh. I'm assuming that'll get fixed. You want to hear the, the, the clang. That helicopter taking off. Clearly, they're electric. Duh. <laughs> they're all, they're, that. Has anyone, has anyone, anyone fucking been near an electric car? They glide past and there's no noise. So these are all electric, man. We just, we just found out, BJ, what'd you miss? We just found out that in Battlefield 2042, all the vehicles are electric. Of course, it's like that 2042, bro. It's like, it's fucking idling. Like, it's just, right. that's not how a helicopter sounds when it is taking off. Yep. Then there's stuff mm, like this. Neither of those dudes pop out. Destruction doesn't have an accompanying sound effect. Oh, I don't know, man. <laughs> then there's so just janky. the straight up bugged sounds that stop working altogether, like these. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you get shot and you don't know where the hell it is. Wouldn't it be solar panel helis? Well, I mean, it could. You, they could, in Sound the future, work off in both its near uh, um, uh, key charging. This is one of those things that I they get charged by a wireless. Work of sorts post launch. The things I've listed in this section are just the big ticket items that are really hard to fix. Are they sure Animation, it's not a sound glitch of BF4? Code, sound oh man, look at this. It's not like a few lines of code, a few JIRA points and we're done. Mm -hmm. Each of these things are pretty massive and they take a long time to get right. On top of all of those big issues are a whole bunch of little things. Like there's a delay when you deploy or pick up items or your weapon mods yeah. don't save and you need to reapply them every time. Oh my God, that literally peaching to the choir, dude. Twice. How many times you had to fucking do that shit? Or you can't call Fuck. in a vehicle sometimes for no particular reason. Or oh. you can't use the recon drone. Or you can't call in the doggo and have like reason. you and your mates will have awesome doggos. Bunny hopping glitch that people have discovered. Oh, bro. And just so much more. It's honestly full of bugs and you know right. they'll eventually fix them, sure. But like, why aren't they fixed now? We're a month from launch. You might think that I've just cherry picked mm. examples here to put this video together. I really encourage Looks like Battlefield Glitch is the future skin on it. Social media, whatever. This Ooh. is not a fringe perspective. Bro, look at that helicopter, bro, man. Ooh, look at it go. In one way or another. Maybe it's not as Zipping bad around. for you. That's cool. I'm glad. 
but it's bad for enough people that this is <laughs> Apex Legends 2042. Video. Even if this beta build was oh, a few months old, which I believe that it is, this is still not nearly enough time to fix all of the issues that I alone encountered. And that's putting aside some of the design choices, which are... If you've cool. got such a big ambition of having 128 players on a server, then make sure it runs smoothly. As far as some 64-bit, fuck it, 64-bit, 64-player servers, then make sure they're rock solid, and then, you know, increase a bit by bit by bit. Don't just go, yeah, we can do 128. It's crazy. Apex <laughs> Legends 2042. Well, that's exactly how I feel about this game, man. Yeah, how many times, oh, dude, you get slapped, you shoot a dude, and you're shooting at him, you're shooting him, you're seeing that the hit markers come up, and then he just spins around and slaps you. And you go, what the fuck? like, this isn't real Battlefield, this is Warzone meets Apex meets Titanfall. It is. This is casual field, etc. I'm not saying these people are wrong, I'm just saying that we need to see the full game with all its maps and Oh shit, Oboe got three. Portal. All right. We need to see all of that stuff before talking about whether or not DICE's vision He's is back there, dude. for the franchise. Like I said, this is very different, and I'm having fun with it on its terms. Yep. And if DICE have a lot of impressive stuff that they're holding in reserve, then this could be great. Exactly how very I feel. Different from exactly how I feel, games, man. But still good. What I think we can discuss now are some of the more universally agreed problems with 2042. <laughs> the UI, the AI, the special... 2042 system, Respawn? <laughs> Bro. The UI. Okay. <laughs> I've seen some doozies in my time. It's this getting one it. might take the case. This fucking I mean, look UI, this dude. What is this? What 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 is this? Why is it so large and weird? Who I was chatting to someone about this, and it feels like Battlefield 2042 is a free to play game. I played free to play games. Does anyone ever remember a game called Ballistic Overkill? You might not have played it. In the group with the boys, we played a shit ton of it because it was like free to play Call of Duty. It felt like Call of Duty. It acted like Call of Duty. It shot like Call of Duty. It was amazing, it was free, it got super sweaty on it, we were stomping dudes, doing all sort of shit, and it was solid. This literally feels like Battlefield 2 free to play, dude, you know what they'd be better, you know what they'd be better served doing? They'd be better served doing, hey, we're going to do Battlefield, Hero, Battlefield Heroes, and do it again. It is time to bring back Battlefield Heroes, microtransactions run fucking rampant worldwide, every single game. You literally could flip Battlefield Heroes into its own thing. You could have a Battle Royale based on that engine. Um, whole bunch of crazy shit. I'll show you. Watch after this. Watch after this. I'll show you. It's full of crazy. Shit information that I don't care it's Battlefield about. 2. Yeah, exactly. Have goddamn scoreboard. All I want to know is, how's everybody doing? And I literally mm -hmm. can't see it. You can't see shit. The scoreboards are toxic in 2021, I guess. No way, dude. There's also the general difficulties associated with map markers. It's actually quite tricky to see which points have been captured. or are Yeah, why do it 3D? Why do it 3D, man? Distant markers together for some reason. Oh, and there's also no map at the moment. Like, you know, that little used, unimportant feature. That wasn't in this build. I mean, uh, who, who needs a map anyway? Like, Fuck it, man. Who needs a map in a Battlefield game? So you still Battlefield 2 installed? Plus, there's Bro. this thing that drops down from the top of your screen whenever you gain or lose a majority of capture points, and it's so distracting and so obnoxious that it's already become a meme. They the literally just need to make it. Much like the game's sound design, the UI down here, the hard, a little thing down here that says really whatever's this captured, whatever, and then you just go, oh, okay, AI, cool. Okay, let's meet some of our AI buddies now. Warface. Yes, Warface. Absolutely. So this is them riding a quad bike. I intervene to see if the other dude behind him was any smarter. Sadly, he was not. In case you didn't know, Battlefield 2042 is 128 players on next-gen consoles and PC. For seeing that it might be tough to pack out full lobbies, DICE added AI bots. What is he using? There can oh, okay, be right. a number of them. I think that these are terrible and that- I found that if I use SMGs, now, so you get way more kills. I don't know if it's because the way that I was playing the game or whatever it is, there's less recoil, but you can get your distance and you can get your kills in. Using SMGs more than, than assault rifles. Off sections of the map when lobbies are too small, I think I had like two maps. With dumbass bro, look at and this. If you are gonna have bots, at least <gasps> make them smart. Go and play Halo Infinite's oh. Spartan difficulty bots. They will fuck you up. The Ooh. behavior of those bots is as good as or better than some humans. Oh, okay. That is how you do bots. This is okay. not. The specialists. Okay, so this topic is like a whole 20-minute video in itself. Dude. So forgive me for skipping over a lot of detail here, but this video is already pretty long. Long story short, Battlefield games have always been built on look at a this. Of Can we just quickly just rewind this for half a second? Skipping over a lot of detail here. This guy is an engineer. NG, right? NG. NG, you should be able to repair shit. His specialty is a sentry system. You throw out the sentry. What's his trait? He's a sentry operator. 
He's a fucking engineer, dude. He's an engineer. His whole idea of him doing his thing should be, hey, I can go and repair shit. But I've also got this turret just in case I'm sitting up there repairing something. I can put a turret out so that I'm not going to get fucking slapped by someone who's sneaking up while I'm focusing on my primary job. Right? Not hard. No, 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 no. His trait... Oh, you guys can't see it here. Fuck. Um, here. His trait is a sentry operator. Really? Really? He's a sentry operator. His specialty is a sentry system, and his trait is a sentry operator. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, what the this hell? This video is already pretty long. Long story short, Battlefield games have this video is going to be longer, so we're good. whatever's cool. Including <laughs> distinct classes I'm here at the Warframe party. Play that emerges from class synergy. Each class would have a distinct combination of weapons and gadgets that make them a unique addition to a squad. This is not Battlefield. Someone that could fight up close with an SMG uh, or a shotgun. No one plays like this in Battlefield. With a sniper, someone who specialized in this is console down play and people wouldn't sit there. You'd be dead already, dude. Ammo, what are these friggin... Heal and revive, etc. The only way to be truly successful was to rely on your squad because yep. you couldn't do everything on your own. In time, and you wouldn't hold on the point. Class synergy further. Get out of here. All sorts of social systems to encourage squad play. Stuff like emotes to ask What's in Halo or rough? Ammo. Dude, squad I want to check that out. Commands, squad scoring really want to check out Halo. Would give you bonus points for following orders or Crazy though. I never played Halo. Objectives. I played Halo 3, Everyone but not, not single player. No one at any point Cross play said, now. Oh my god. Really give me a second. I've got to rant about game. fucking that. So Battlefield 2042 basically deletes classes and squads from the game. Dude, Instead of classes it takes all the good shit out of this game. You now have specialists. They're hero oh classes my god. With unique so this is what I was talking about. Down here, you've got your gadgets. And they come with one baked in ability and no restrictions whatsoever yes. on their weapons or gadgets. If you want to run the recon dude with an SMG and a rocket launcher, you can do that. Yep. If you want your medic to be rocking an LMG and armor plating, go for it yep this change has had such a destructive impact on so many aspects of the game absolutely Typically, when i play battlefield i like to fill meaning i like to look at my squad and ask what are we missing this guy's like me providing ammo do we have anti-tank etc yes I except i don't do anti-tank that fuck that anti-tank you don't get any of that shit that that, that shit's cancelled what you want to do is you want to play either medic or, or support <laughs> you know what i mean they opted in the hero shooter bullshit. This isn't Battlefield anymore. This is not Battlefield anymore. The only way they could have made it the hero bullshit would have been great is if you lock it down and go, okay, you want to be medic? Medic has access to these type of weapons, but you have this specific loadout. You have your main, which will be your your heal, your self-heal. You shoot yourself with a gun and you can heal. You can shoot other people, heal other people. Or you've got like, you know, one extra kit might be uh, a medic base, a medic base, like a medic pack or whatever it is. And then you've got all these generic ones. You know, like, oh, maybe a uh, spawn beacon or whatever it is, blah, 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 whatever it is. But the fact is they try to chop and change everything. It makes it so fucking difficult. Like, you've got it right here, man. Look at it right here. You get your medipack. You've got your ammo box. Your gadget is, I think that's a repair gun. That's Boris. I, I think that's uh, armor plating, I think. Uh, that's a rocket. And that's, I think, a spawn beacon, I believe. You can pick any of these, bro, I believe. I want to understand. Yes, you can. You can. And you go, well, fucking go, bro. What's the go? Yeah, the UI in the deploy screen doesn't tell me which gadgets my squad members are running. Oh, and dude. I don't know if all Preach, of them man. Have, Preach. None of them do. Spoiler, none of them do because everyone is running around with any air rockets. <laughs> in my 15 hours, I think I counted maybe three ammo packs on the ground. Yeah, all three of those were mine, bro. That's all good, bro. I got you. Everyone I got you, fam. doing their own thing because they couldn't make smart selections during that deployment. No. Screen. And then there's the Why? complete erasure of the squad systems that support all this. There's no more squad leaders, no more emotes to ask for ammo or heals. There's squad there's no leaders, squad but they just mean dick. To incentivize you yep. to work together. That's all just gone. There's not even and he's squad killing AI chat. Again. Though I think that is coming later, but who knows? Then there's the balancing of the individual specialists. The medic is so useless. I yes. thought her syringe would be a ranged revive, but it's not. It's just a shitty heal, and everyone it's heals so up so dumb. fast anyway, so there's no need for it. The recon drone is okay, but you have to collect it every time you're no. done with it, while the engineer just gets to pull turrets straight out of his ass on cooldown, so that seems kind of unfair. 
Yep. Grapple is by far and away the most powerful ability in the game right now. So everyone is just running around with the dude that looks like the scout from Team Fortress. <laughs> he totally is the you? scout from Team you Fortress. Choose, him, choose whatever weapon you like, whatever gadget you like, you just grapple up somewhere and farm kills. Why wouldn't you do that? The most serious issue with the squad system is this clip right here. Oh, bro. How many times you guys have played this? How many times is this a thing, this man? Is that specialists aren't Fuck, man. Functions. So if I'm playing as the US forces and I'm fighting the Russians, I'm fighting enemies that look exactly yep. the same as me. The only thing that denotes that they are an enemy is this tiny little dot that they have above their head <sighs> that can be either blue for friend or orange for foe. So in this, this clip, is why class doesn't work. Class-based shooters and specialists don't fucking work, man. You just start shooting because you don't know if they're friend or foe. Yes. When I'm close to anyone like this, I can't see this fucking dot. So like Danny DeVito, <laughs> I just start blasting. That's the right. The specialist system is so bad that you cannot tell which weapons or gadgets your teammates are running. You can't size up an enemy by their silhouette. I hope which they or gadgets fix they're like this attacking. shit, bro. You can't tell friend from foe because everyone is wearing the same thing. It's genuinely mind-blowing to know that this made it through years of playtesting at DICE and wasn't called out as a game-breaking issue. Right now, the Battlefield community is looking forward to the portal mode so that they can sidestep all of this and go play classes from previous Battlefield Bro. Games. That is how bad the special system They'll do cross-play and have the cross-save too. 100% have the cross-save Warframe. The bots, the Absolutely love the it. Sound design. All of these are really complex systems, I, and in the case of the specialists, they are deeply baked into the core of this game's DNA. And it's dumb. It's the dumbest fucking thing ever. I will tell you how to fix this fucking game. All right? Yeah, I'll tell you how to fix this fucking game. Have your operators. Whatever it is. But they're your base classes when you first get into the game, yeah? They're your base classes. Just like you have when you load into a game. Uh, when's the game released? It should be in a month. It should be in a month from today, I believe. Is it still better? Hey, what's up? How you doing, Ali? Nice to see you. The way that you fix this game is you have, a, you have these, these classes would be your first one until you hit, say, level 10. Right? Then you get your generic character that you unlock, you can customize, make look like you, whatever you need to do, whatever. Then, on top of that, give us uh, uniform unlocks, give us armor unlocks. Let us do the whole thing of what was done in Rainbow Six, Rainbow Six Vegas 2, where you could pick shoulder armor, knee pads, chest armor, helmet, and that would affect how you move around. So if you want to go and be really super sneaky and fast, boy, you put on a light armor, bro, but you're going to go down really fucking quick. You put on a lot of heavy armor, you're not going to get there quite as, as fast. But, you know, you can be the dude that has a shotgun or a fucking big fuck off gun or whatever it is, right? You would immediately fix a lot of shit. One, you could go, hey, guys, you can unlock all these cosmetics if you have a battle pass or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. You get all these different, whatever, different skins, different... um different bits of armor, you know, whatever it is to, to make things look, you know, pretty it up and that sort of shit. And then also you negate away from this fucking whole class-based thing because the class-based thing, thing is literally killing the game. It's going to be the one big downfall that at the end of the day you're going to go, all right, well, here's what's going to happen. Everyone's going to come up with the optimal setup and then that's going to be the meta and that's going to be it. We're going to call it a day on that. Don't do that. Give us a bit more customizability. If you want to go down the customizability route, have these, but lock them down. And then if you want to open it up on the other end and go, right, you want to get this gadget with this, whatever it is, I guess go ahead and do that. But the smarter option is fold it back to the last Battlefield, fold it back to Battlefield 4, because this seems to be the closest thing to it. And then go and just give us cosmetic unlocks. It's not hard, boys. How hard is it, man? How hard is it? Hard. Oh, I don't quick oh, changes to this. Come on, man. It huge amounts of dev work and in-house testing. Crazy. Don't think that DICE can wave a magic wand and fix this stuff before launch. Don't even no. think that they can fix it in three months. No, nah, give, give them a six, but eight months. This is sort man. of one of the main points I want to get across in this video. Not only does Battlefield have myriad crippling technical issues across all platforms, but it also has some very intractable design issues that will each themselves require some level of overhaul and oh, rework. Oh, God. Like, it's already clear that the specialist system cannot remain in its current state. No way. And the work to dig the game out of no the way. hole created by specialists... Tiny little gameplay vid from New Saints Bro. There's so many Thank more you. points that I could make in I'll this video. In the Most interest market. of time, I just Thank want to you, direct you to this video uploaded by a Reddit user by the name of Green My Man. You might have seen it. It's been doing the rounds. It highlights how many features are missing from Battlefield 2042. 
And they aren't small nitpicky things, by the way. Many of these things are big things. Movement animations like rolling and crouch sprinting and supine stance. Yes. Leaning out of cover. The entire destruction engine being way less responsive and impressive this time around. The squad spawn screen, as well as a whole bunch of stuff that I've mentioned in this video. You can't watch this video and not feel a what are they sad thinking, by man? how much what 2042 the thinking, has progressed. Man? Its combat sandbox is larger, but its gameplay and social systems, its attention to detail, are all so much less impressive than any Battlefield title I can recall playing. Let me finish by reiterating this fact. I did have fun with this. I wanted a new modern era Battlefield. I was on board with DICE's over-the-top, unrestrained vision of a sandbox tailor-made to create clip-worthy only in Battlefield modes. How? I think that How do we go from... To be that game. I'm still regularly overawed by 2042 both by the stage spectacle and by the player created moments. While I don't love a lot of the design choices here, I would still love to play more of this game if uh. its biggest, most obvious problems were fixed and if the game was technically finished. Yeah. I want Battlefield 2042 to succeed and that's why I think a delay is a good idea. Knock it back six Give months, man. Knock it back six months. months. Let them we'll fix what's give Call of Duty its and day. Let them polish it to a brilliant shine. And then, let yeah, let it come the out. UI, fix rework the this UI system. off, man. And while we're at it, let's dose those AI bots with a few IQ points. Mm -hmm. Let's add in those missing features that previous Battlefield games had. Nobody wants Battlefield 2042 to launch poorly. No Everyone way, would love to see a great Battlefield. I think more time in the oven is required to make that happen. Yep. And I personally don't mind waiting as long as it takes. For now, though, I definitely wouldn't be pre-ordering Battlefield 2042 if I were you. Oh, hell no. One hell last thing before we go, no. this video is brought to you by NVIDIA and the oh, MSI so GT76LT laptop. This Ooh. laptop is truly next-gen because it has the latest 30 series GPU built in, meaning you get all the benefits of the latest GPU hardware in portable form. What are those benefits you ask? Well, obviously the raw processing power in Nvidia's 30 series cards is unmatched, delivering you the best frame rates. I'm hoping these penguins are going to be fucking today. top tier, you know in what I mean? In addition to that, you also get ray tracing, which is a technique that simulates light using an algorithm resulting in the most realistic rendition of light we've seen in video games. Upcoming games like Guardians of the Galaxy, Battlefield 2042 and Dying Light 2 all support ray tracing, and this laptop lets you experience that next gen Damn. feature. The most impressive tech is another utilized by Battlefield 2042 and it's called DLSS, which stands for Deep Learning Super Sampling. Yes, it is, what this does is it which doesn't exist in the fucking beta. While making it look like it's running at a higher resolution, giving your GPU more headroom to spend on higher graphical settings and frame rates. A great example was when I tested it's DLSS good. He's reading Outriders. Up I picked up an average of around 40 frames. Yeah, that's a very big increase. Pair that with the laptop's 360 hertz screen, and you can expect a silky smooth oh, experience. Oh, this game out. Even when the action is thickest. Guns in the addition galaxy. to the sleek design, each MSI GS76 laptop comes equipped with their signature Cooler Boost Trinity system, a dedicated set of thermal solutions that ensure low temperatures and so fans performance no matter what you're playing or for how long they Getting invented fans the giant holy they used shit to be, they're smaller thinner lighter and more portable Ooh. than ever before to learn more about nvidia's next gen gpu does anyone else know about MSI these fans GS76 this fan laptop, idea is fucking great dude catch on description below thanks nvidia damn, and MSI son. for sponsoring the video and thank you for watching damn god fucking damn Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you did, always Mr. Skill up. Down, so I know to do better for next time. If you enjoy, you're yourself, doing fine, my guy. You're doing fine, my guy. Let's give him, let's give him, let's give him a thumbsy, thumbsy up. So you